And new at six, an Asian gypsy moth was discovered at a home in Santa Cruz last week. So now detection traps have been set up around the community, a lot of them. Moth could threaten hundreds of varieties of trees and plants. Action News reporter Phil Gomez has our story. It's the Asian gypsy moth caterpillars that are the threat to forests, local oaks, as well as hundreds of other species here. And because they're so aggressive, they can defoliate trees uh, very quickly. Um, and so that eventually could end up killing the tree or make it more susceptible to other pests or diseases. More than a thousand of these traps have been placed in a five mile radius throughout Santa Cruz. The traps are part of a statewide pest detection program with an aim at monitoring and preventing the spread of the moth. It's also to determine if a larger infestation exists. The traps will be in place until October. Essentially, if we do find more, it means that there may be a quarantine in the city of Santa Cruz, in the areas where it is found. Martin Quigley, executive director of the UC Santa Cruz Arboretum, is especially concerned about the pest because if a quarantine is declared, it could impact plant sales, which is responsible for 10% of their budget. We would probably have to shut down, and, and the sales that we have twice a year, plus next one in the holidays, are a major source of income for us, so it would be very devastating to us. A quarantine could also impact local nurseries, is it could result in some sort of either prohibition or interruption in the distribution of plant material from the wholesale grower to the retailer or from the retailer to the homeowner. If an infestation is detected, the eradication process would include the use of an organic treatment called BTK, a natural occurring bacteria found in soil. The Ag Commissioner says there will be a community input before that happens. In Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8.